and finally we'll have Imam, Imam Johari uh, with the Council of Muslim Organizations for the Greater Washington DC area. Is that, no? uh, good morning everyone. Imam Johari Abdul Malik, I M A M J O H A R I, Abdul Malik A B D U L hyphen M A L I K. I serve on the board of the uh, Council of Muslim Organizations of Greater Washington, D.C. But I think perhaps this morning I really stand uh, before you uh, as a father, as someone who, if you ask the members of our council, they would say, every child has the right to dream that they could become the President of the United States. Myself, I'm a native son of Brooklyn, New York, a descendant of enslaved Africans freed by the President of the United States and confirmed by the Congress in the 14th and the 13th Amendments to the Constitution reaffirmed and freed again by the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and 65. So I stand also as a clergy in the Islamic tradition saying there is no contradiction between our faith and the Constitution of the United States of America. And it enshrines for us in its First Amendment that we have the freedom to practice our religion peacefully along with other citizens. And we have the right as a citizen to run for any office of the United States and to let the American people decide who should be their leaders. Dr. Martin Luther King reminds us that we should evaluate people not based on the color of their skin, but based on the content of their character. Now I have some concerns about some of the characters who are running for the office of the United States presidency because when you say I'm going to be the president, it means that you're going to uphold the Constitution against enemies foreign and domestic. General Colin Powell reminds us that if someone is eligible to die for their country, then they should have the right to lead their country. I believe sincerely that we now have a problem in America with our moral compass, that it's time for us to say as an American people, black, white, red, yellow, Muslim, Christian, Hindu, Sikh, Buddhist, Jain, Zoroastrian, uh, every faith and no faith, to be able to say never again will we go back to a tradition of racism and bigotry. Mm. I move that we as a people move forward with a spirit of civility. There are those who have said that our nation has survived World War I, World War II, Vietnam, we now run the risk of being destroyed from within by those who would seek to divide us. We are a society that respects law and order, and we expect to have law enforcement executed with the highest levels of civil rights, human rights, due process, and justice. I'm going to close but to say that I believe that the American people should say loudly and clearly that we want representatives who speak to a nation that is one nation under God and maybe for some people good consciousness with liberty for everybody and justice for all. Thank you. <laughs>